around the nation and here in Indianapolis. Today, women are casting their ballots. Especially as a woman, I think it's important to vote for women's rights. The fight to get women the right to vote. A hard-won victory by suffragettes more than a century ago. But the battle started 150 years ago, on November 5th, 1872, when Susan B. Anthony and a handful of other women cast their ballot. Anthony was arrested two weeks later. Political science expert Laura Wilson says that sparked fire in the women's suffrage movement nationally. It was that arrest, the subsequent court case, and the $100 fine that really started to bring more attention to the suffrage movement. Half a century later, that right was finally approved by Congress in 1919 and ratified in 1920. Months later that November, more than 8 million American women voted for the very first time. As the decades passed, women's strength as a voting population took hold. But they've remained a minority when it comes to representation in politics. Women are a majority of the population, but chronically underrepresented in all levels and branches of government. Indiana has never elected a female governor or a female senator. Nationally, just one of our nine congressional seats is held by a woman, and statewide, just 35 of our 150 seats in the state legislature are held by women, according to the Center for American Women in Politics. Nationwide, those numbers are improving. And in 2016, 2018, and 2020, we'll wait to see here for 2022, um, we've had record-breaking years in terms of women being elected, which is really exciting. As the midterm election votes are tallied and counted, millions of women today are weighing in on the big issues, everything from inflation to abortion. And with every ballot cast, the potential for another record-breaking year in electing women to office. I think that would be really truly living out the legacy of the suffragist like Susan B. Anthony. It's not just enough to vote to have your voice heard, it's being there at the table itself. And if we have more female candidates, I think that's encouraging to voters of all kinds to understand that those representations matter. All the people that worked toward women's rights and for women to even have the right to vote, I think it's important to make sure that we execute our right. And I have two daughters, so I'm hopefully teaching them that as well. Keeping the suffragist vision alive today in Indianapolis, Rachel Krause, 13 News. Well, it's Tuesday, November 8th, Election Day. But before we put a cap on it, we've got to show you a little bit more when we come back. And we're honoring our Hoosier heroes tonight on 13 News. This is Robert Litterer, who served in the U.S. Marine Corps and fought in Vietnam between 1961 and 1966. I want to thank Robert and all of our Indiana veterans for their service to our country. We'll be right back.